What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be doing a full review of the Panasonic G7 which I'm actually controlling through my phone right now which is very very cool. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So guys, it's been about two weeks since I first unboxed my G7. Since then, I've done a lot of fiddling, playing around with it, and just taking it out and having fun. So I think it's time I give you guys my full and honest opinion. Before I get straight into the positives, I'd just like to take a minute to look at some of the negatives. There aren't many, but I feel like I just need to address a few things. First up, this flip out touchscreen is absolutely incredible, however it does feel really flimsy and sometimes I worry about knocking it and it coming off the hinge or something stupid like that. It's, it doesn't really affect how it works, it's just a bit of a, an issue. Other than that, the screen is incredible and is super responsive, I mean like a, an iPhone kind of screen re responsive which is amazing from a camera. Another drawback to this camera's design is the SD card slot location which is right down where the battery is. Now on some cameras this would be fine but it gets muddled up with the tripod mount which can be very very annoying. Other than that there is nothing that strikes me as being majorly flawed on this camera so let's get on with the positives. Now one of the biggest things people are going to want to know is what is the 4K video like. Now I've done two videos on this using the Panasonic G7 which you can go back in my channel and have a look at and I'll also link them down below. But here are just a few shots I got with the G7. Some are in 1080p 60fps for slow motion and others are in 4K and I think they look absolutely stunning. Now being a micro four third sensor I was slightly worried about low light performance but I think as long as you know what you're doing and you know how to use the aperture, the ISO the shutter speed properly and also manual focus because autofocus kind of sucks in the dark you can actually get some really nice looking shots nothing compared to the a7s series but still pretty good now to get crispy shots you also need good glass and this camera comes with some amazing lenses the one i have the 14 to 42 millimeter is a metal construction which is absolutely beautiful and it takes some really really crisp images the lens only extends the tiniest bit when zooming and there is absolutely no lens breathing that i could see with my own eyes it does also come with a nice lens hood which is for blocking out sunlight obviously but i just used it all the time because it looks cool even with the great touchscreen that the G7 comes with, I much prefer the buttons. I think the layout on the G7 is brilliant. The fact that there are dual controls for both of the dials and that all of the buttons are in perfect reach. I also like that both the dedicated record button and the shutter button can be used to start a video with different modes. For example, the shutter button will allow single focus recording, but then you could also use the built-in record button for continuous. One thing I absolutely love about the G7, which probably goes for all other Panasonic cameras, is the interface. I've used Canon cameras, Nikon cameras, Samsung cameras, Sony cameras, and nothing compares to how free and easy to use the Panasonic interface is. There are so many options to change, even all the way down to the frame rate of the display, which is insane to audio levels, to zebra panning, all of that stuff, but it's just so easy to access. And I'm sure there are ways to do it in other cameras as well, but I've never come across them as easy as I have in the Panasonic G7. The theme of good design continues throughout the main user interface. The fact that you can change exactly what comes up on the screen from nothing to video preferred content to a spirit level is all brilliant. The Q menu is really good. I like that you can access everything 
really quickly from the color profile, video resolution, autofocus modes, stuff like um, face tracking, 49 area. It's just a really, really well thought out software. Now I could keep going on about how much I love this camera, but I think you get the gist already. I'm so glad I picked up the Panasonic G7 and it was definitely worth the effort I put in to be able to buy one. So overall, this is a great budget video camera, like absolutely insanely good for the price. However, for pictures, I would say no, it's more of a video orientated camera, which is odd because it is very similar to a DSLR type style. So guys, that is going to about do it for today's video. Thanks for watching and peace out.